How can cricketers be good businessmen? Well, certainly some of our former cricketers have well-established businesses. The current lot now is also learning the tricks of the trade to help plan their post-retirement lives. Take a look. When Tapan Kumar Das and Ryan Fernando launched a startup three years ago, they found an unlikely investor in the form of Robin Uttapa. With a novel concept and financial backing, iTiffin started Tiffin Services for office goers in Bengaluru and in the process also started a trend of cricketers becoming angel investors. So if you want to become an angel investor, all you need is money and an eye to identify a good business. And if it all goes well, you can expect good returns in the form of equity and annual profits. A lot of us are investing into, into what we believe in and, and what, we, what we probably want to do after we've finished playing. Uh, all of us are blessed with uh, you know, a few excesses in which we can invest into, into our, our passions besides the sport. But are these cricketers on board merely as silent investors or do they really contribute in the daily functioning of the company too? Every month we meet, even if he's not in town, we have a conference call and show that we share that what we do. He brings a lot of experience of it, uh, wherever he goes and then he captured, he gathered a lot of information and that's where he uh, shared with us and that helps us to think differently. The Indian speedster recently invested in a Kolkata based fashion portal called Fashion Ove. He is quite aware of what's happening in the startup ecosystem and about you know how fashion industry is booming. So it wasn't very difficult to convince him uh, because he really loved the idea. But one cricketer leading the movement is Yuvraj Singh. Known for his firebrand style of cricket, the 33-year-old is already a big name in the startup ecosystem. His business company, UV Can Ventures, funds a variety of startups including companies for car servicing, beauty products, education and even restaurants. It always used to be said that India has two religions, Bollywood and cricket. The third religion that is emerging about young India now is entrepreneurship. The cricketers see themselves as wanting to be a part of it. Once viewed only as brand ambassadors, the Indian cricketer is clearly evolving, moving from score sheets to balance sheets with ease, also ensuring a better and secured future after retirement. In New Delhi, Yash Shavla, NDTV.